This tutorial is going to take you through the three transitions that are available in the Title Punch set from Useful Effects. As with all transitions, you can find them in the Transitions tab. And then we go down to Useful Effects, Title Punch, and we see that we have Burning Scan, Slow Burn, and Transmogrify. You can select the transition, double click, or you can simply drag that over on top of the transition. It seemed a little fast, so we're going to just widen it out, and that will slow it down for us. This transition is being applied to two clips that have alpha information. I'm going to select the background clip, hit the V key to disable it, and you can see that there's the transparency. So the first one is simply the assembler title, which is available in Final Cut, and the second one is the artwork that we've been using throughout this tutorial set. So it's a PNG image with alpha information. Turning back on the V key, we see that it has transparency. And this transparency is important to give us that nice burning effect as it blends between those two clips. All of the parameters in these three transitions are pretty much similar in how they work and operate. Uh, however, Burning Scan does have a unique one, which is a directional component. So for example, if we wanted to go left or right, up or down, we'll go to the right here, seeing it slide across. I'm going to pause it right there. Another important slider is the pattern look, which allows you to select from different texture maps that are bundled into the transition. So for example, this square one is quite uh, evident. You can increase the scale or decrease the scale. Now let's go back to an earlier one. If you're using the same transition over and over again, you're going to get a very monotonous effect. So we put in the pattern swatch slider, and you can see, for example, these little highlights right here. And as I move the pattern swatch, it's just moving the pattern around across the image. So it's a great way to break up the monotony when you're reusing this transition throughout your project. Obviously, you can bring down the burning, pop it up a lot more. That's a little too much. We're going to talk about the drop zone and the pattern in the next transition. So this is slow burn. This bleeds through the two clips across the entire image at once. That's a good example again of how the pattern swatch can help us out. And then it'll just pull off a different aspect of that particular pattern. And this also has a, uh, a different style so that, for example, the sizzle gives you a lot more, um, a lot more evident burning. And this also responds really well when you're using the melt parameter, which adds a little bit extra level of grunge on there. I'm going to go back to burn now. And we've been using one of the can textures, but you can also go ahead and use a drop zone. So I'm going to switch this over to drop zone and use the drop zone picker and select this image. This is an ideal image and that has a lot of high frequency noise, meaning there's no real solid patterns of, of solid color anywhere on it. So we'll hit apply, play through that, see what it looks like. You see the melt is a little high there, so let's bring that back down. And we have a nice transition. So you can go ahead and experiment and try out different looks with it by using different clips. You can see the sky is just sort of melting into the building there. It's not quite obvious, but some suggestion of that pattern does appear. Let's try the Monumenta image. And you get, it, you get a sense of the, uh, the cross hatching that was actually in the image. Now you want to be careful with these, however, in that you don't want to choose an image that has a lot of flat areas of color. For example, this map on a still frame, it looks terrific. It's very interesting and compelling. But you're gonna find out when you play through it that there's a lot of popping going on. This is because the map has a lot of areas that are one solid color, which is the light gray that's used for the water areas. So when that trans transition hits that area, it pops all of that sea on at once. And it's very disconcerting to see that play through your transition. So you want to avoid images that have a lot of solid flat colors. Let's choose one more. Let's choose the spiral pattern and play through there. And this is an example where we can look at two other parameters very easily. If you have the pattern swatch set to zero, you know it's going to be centered on the image. However, if I move it around, as we've seen before, it's going to change where that is. But by having it at zero, I know that it's going to be centered. 
Now by default, in this particular case, it's going in a clockwise orientation. If I hit the pattern invert, that will reverse the orientation. What this does is normally we transition from the whites into the darks through that texture map. But in this case, we're going to go from the darks to the whites. So we're going to end up with the middle at the end. So this texture mapping works the same way across all three of these transitions. Transmogrify, very similar to slow burn, just has a different sort of quality to it, a different character, uh, but otherwise works in a very, very similar way. We've been looking at these three examples on alpha clips, but this will also generally work on clips with, with full RGB without in, any alpha information. Burning scan works pretty well. If we reduce down the flare entirely, we get a nice textured wipe to it, which is pretty cool. Slow burn actually does not look good at all. Uh, it's just the way it's built and it, it will pull in these edges for you. And so that will not be a very compelling look. Transmogrify, however, does look fantastic. And you can pull up, up the, uh, the burning on it as well. And it's going to have a very interesting effect. And of course, you can use the, uh, the texture maps just as we showed with the slow burn transition. So this has been the introduction to the three transitions that you can find in the Title Punch set for useful effects.